my righteousness is anything but self-motivated. There is definitive right and there is wrong. Good and evil. Mace Windu. To ADW4 while Fisto created a distraction by confronting the battle droids, his comrades executed their respective parts of the mission, with Mano infiltrating a separatist supply ship and Windu challenging ADW4 to single combat. As they fought, the droid mercenary attempted to bait Windu by accusing him of hypocrisy as well as secretly enjoying his newfound authority as a general in the Grand Army of the Republic. Although it briefly overpowered the Jedi Master, Windu ultimately prevailed, using both his Force powers and lightsaber to defeat ADW-4. He also rejected its claims against him, asserting that his virtues were influenced by altruism and the concept of right versus wrong. ADW-4 was confident that its mission was a success in spite of the Jedi's efforts to prevent the Separatists from gaining a valuable energy source that could fuel their war effort against the Republic. However, Windu had anticipated the supply ship's purpose and instructed Mano to destroy it. The young Jedi Knight succeeded in her task, destroying the ship along with its flora samples, and moved to assist Fisto against the remaining droids in accordance with Windu's orders. Having failed in its mission, ADW-4 attempted to escape by disconnecting its head from its disabled body. The effort was in vain as Windu used the force to cause the head to explode destroying ADW-4 and ending the separatist operation on Hisrich. Returning to the Jedi Temple on Coruscant, Windu provided a report on the success of his team's mission to the High Council. The leaders of the Jedi Order decided to send a force of clone troopers to Hisrich, both to eliminate the remaining droids and provide aid to the planet's indigenous population. In addition to their plans for replanting and reconstruction on Hisrich, Yoda announced that they would study samples of the flora in order to learn more about its properties. The next item on their agenda was the trial of Prosit Dibbs, who remained under arrest as a result of his conduct during the Hisrich operation. Dibbs, who turned against his team and attacked Windu, a Jedi Master as well as a general in the Republic military, stood before the leaders of the Jedi Order accused of heresy and insubordination. He was ultimately found guilty on both charges, including treason but although Dibbs expected to be put to death, Windu implored his colleagues to be merciful. Windu, who harbored his own reservations against the Jedi's new military responsibilities, sympathized with Dibbs' frustrations. In Windu's view, Dibbs did not deserve to be faulted for feeling anger and confusion, both of which Windu regarded as valid emotions under the circumstances of war. As such, he believed that the Jedi had a duty to help rehabilitate the members of the Order who strayed from the light. Although Dibbs continued to doubt Windu's sincerity, Windu requested for the prisoner to be placed on probation, confined to work in the Jedi archives where he hoped Dibbs would re-evaluate his opinions. After the trial, Windu confessed to Mano his hope for reconciliation between Dibbs and the Council, having sensed that the Order would need every Jedi as they face the greatest challenge yet, a long war filled with trials and hardships. While he continued to yearn for a quick end to the fighting, Windu felt that it was not an attainable goal at the moment. The best that the Jedi Order could do, he believed, was to keep faith in the Force and stand in defense of not only the citizens of the Republic, but all peoples of the galaxy.